a uh, quite a long uh, National Voices introduction there. But uh, anywho, hey guys, what's up? It's Donut here, and it's been a long time since I've done a World of Tanks video, so I decided to uh, whip out uh, World of Tanks Replays.com, and I found this awesome video uploaded by, well, not really a video, a replay, uploaded by Venaz in his tier 10 Japanese medium tank, the STB-1. He's just rolling up the heavy tank brawling corner here. Gets a nice on-move shot on that AMX-5100. Now, this tank is absolutely wonderful. I've never played it myself, but from the gameplay and how it looks, it just feels like a wonderful tank. For a long time, it was the uh, highest DPM of any tier 10 medium, but then it got surpassed a couple patches ago by the Object 430, I'm pretty sure. So the SB1 has the second highest uh, damage per minute now on its awesome 105mm gun. Now, just rolling around here, he spots an Indian Panzer. It's a nice shot in there on him. Tiger 2 rolling up as well. Gets hit. No damage received though, just a knocked out gun. Uh, he repaired it almost instantly. There's an IS-3. Looks like uh, a Venaz bounced off the uh, side armor, or it got stuck in the um, space armor on the side. But anywho, the Indian Panzer gets a nice shot into Venaz and was able to pull around the corner far enough that Venaz's shot missed. There's that pesky Tiger 2 again. Gets a nice shot into the Tiger 2 and finishes him off. There's a Ferdinand and IS-3 Indian Panzer. His friendly T-34 just took some big hits. An AMX-5120 all the way on the left. There he is. The 5120 takes out the T-34. Snipes the Indian Panzer when he's coming around the corner, which is good play. Now even though this tank does have some pretty respectable gun depression on this hill, it's it works, but you have to expose a lot of your tank to actually get around. Wild 5120 comes down. What would it be? Down? The top legs or something? Ferdinand getting into position. Gets uh, a nice shot into the superstructure of the Ferdinand there. One more shot. Ooh, low damage roll. I'll have to put another shot into the Ferdinand there. And, oh, just missed the shot. Whisked uh, centimeters behind the Ferdinand there. 5120 tried to snipe the uh, upmost top of his tank, but missed. He hits the 5120, and the 5120 bounces off the pretty uh, respectful and glorious uh, turret on this tank, as you can see here. Put some nice gun depression too, like I said earlier. Just look at that. And there's uh, the turret. Kind of reminds me of a Russian tank. Not as rounded as a Russian tank, but it's pretty strong. Just like those Ruskies. 5120's got his barrel pointing down this way. A 5100 might be coming over the top there. Wait and doing some a little jig. 5120 comes back out. Strong Japanese accuracy showing off there. Gets a nice hit into the commander's hatch, the cupola, on top of the uh, AMX 5120. He tried to snapshot 
uh, at this 5100, but he missed, but that one does not, finishing off the 5100, giving Venaz three kills so far. He's going, charging after this guy, 5120 repairs, but unfortunately, not going too far that way. Gets surprised by a T-54. He missed that shot on the move. There. He's going to come back around, try and finish him off. Bounces off the T-54. There we go. Shot into the side, finishes him off. Now all that's left down here is an E-75, an IS-3, and a E-100. Uh, sorry, and E100. There's T57, some sneaky little guy trying to sneak around, snake around, I guess, into the base, but the IS3 takes him out. No, he has to be careful here. This could end his game. Ugh. Nope, tracks take it. He's left on 6 health from the uh, engagement that he had with the T54. But he has picked himself up a hefty four kills now. Moving on into the capture zone. There's that 5120 that he was having all those duels with. Just trying to come back around this way. Trying to get back. Uh, where he was when he first started off here up on top of this hill T30 finishes off the E75 nice hit into him I don't know if you've been watching chat it's been uh, pretty funny listening to this Imperium guy who uh, Venaz is platooned with just try and brawl with everyone There we go, finish off the IS-3, there's a wonky AMX AC-48 rolling up here, a bit late to the show. E-100 still alive and kicking down here. He won't go down without a fight, however, he'll uh, put up a bit more resistance. Here's that AMX. He's slowly going over. Here's a friendly Ag Panther 2. Oh, here we go. The Ag Panther 2 kind of blocks him there, but I guess Venaz blocks the Ag Panther 2. But look at that thing on the back. What is that? He couldn't get the shot off in time, however. But still, he has 5 kills and a hefty amount of damage. Let's move on to the post-game stats. Alright, so as you can see here, Venaz had a wonderful game with the uh, uh, one of the uh, mastery badges, the number 1, a fighter, a duelist, and a fire for effect ribbon. 76,000 credits earned with a pretty solid 3,500 experience. As you can see here, he made off with 5,413 damage, 5 kills, and 1,153 base experience. That's pretty nice. And some detailed stats here. He made 15,000 credits with a premium account. If he wasn't using a premium account, he would have lost 9,000 credits, mainly due to all of the, uh, uh, some of the shots that he fired, and he basically fired most of his, uh, APCR rounds, firing 30 shots total. Uh, once again, 4,000, or sorry, 5,413 damage. Pretty nice game. Thanks, Venaz, for uploading this to the World of Tanks Replays website. And I'll catch you next time.